Hey guys, it's Amber Manley with Behind the Alley. I am here in Pilot Point, Texas at La Mesa Equine, and I have the pleasure of sitting here with Randy um, in the Equine Sports Medicine 18-wheeler rig, which you can see behind us. Uh, Randy, tell us about this phenomenal rig. It's a pretty amazing piece of equipment. We built it in 2004. Um, it was the second unit that we built. Um, I started with Allen in 2003 and been driving it up and down the road quite a bit since then and we attend about a little over 20 shows a year so dr alan donnell um came up with this idea i felt it was very innovative and you guys are of course evolving with it going to numerous shows more so uh cutting raining um am i correct with hunter jumper the more show style type facilities and events um, it's mainly the the quarter horse circuit shows okay um, the pain horse, the larger pain horse shows, and then the uh, reigning pejority, the you know big free reigning horse shows that they do. So, so you just came back from Arizona, and you take a great pride in in your setup here. And I'm like, it's fine. Let's do it candid. Um, so it takes you about three days to clean the rig up from a show. What's your process with this? Um, just go through and you know unload everything when you get home. Go through, wash everything. Get everything cleaned up, clean the outside of the truck and trailer, clean the inside, wipe it all down, do any maintenance or repairs that need to be done at that time, and get it all prepped up and loaded for the next show. So whenever you're at the show, um, do you help the veterinarians? I work as a technician when okay. we're at the shows for them and stuff, you know, whether we need to lunge horses, scrub joints, shoot x-rays, whatever needs to be done you know so once the rig set up in an event I heard that you guys create a lameness exam platform where there's dirt hauled in at particular locations and shows at some of the larger shows like the Court Horse Congress we set up a tent there and we back the trailer halfway under the tent and then we have a lunch pad that's covered there because at the Congress when it rains and stuff and even when it's not you lose a lot of the outside lunging pens and there's times that you may stand there for 45 minutes to an hour just waiting to get in the pen so it just helps us get through the day and get through get our work done you know and be able to see more horses a day and more efficiently and then there is also a golf cart that loads up yes. in this rig in this trailer there's a golf cart there we carry a, a nissan q yep. bar in the back of it so when we get to the shows we have transportations and stuff and typically i would get to the show ahead of everyone so when i get there i typically unload the car go to the airport pick up the rest of the crew come back and we get started setting up and get it all ready to go for the so show. another question i have to laugh about the vets are not allowed to drive the rig um josh has driven it a little bit <laughs> okay um Cameron wants to drive it She's bad and we're gonna we're gonna let her do that one of these days well i'm gonna put a, a shameless plug in for dr cameron stout here um she hit the telephone pole at my house so i'm not sure i trust her like she's so funny about her driving we'll, we'll skill be set. On the open road when we do that <laughs> awesome all right well um the other thing too uh, i guess so it takes a three day to clean up i took some photos of the actual storage unit that holds this rig and talk about the platform that's up underneath underneath it to maintain um, maintenance in one of the bays in the in the uh, building where we keep it we have a, a 40 foot long pit so you have to do any maintenance underneath the truck whether it's an oil change or you know just lubing it same way with the trailer if you need to do any maintenance on it and stuff it gives, allows you to get underneath there because this trailer is so low to the ground that it's almost impossible to slide underneath of it yeah um what's the hashtag wwrd <laughs> that stands for what would randy do you're the go-to guy i guess and that's that's my little monkey that i got from wade <laughs> Well, a little way. Oh, man, what a mess. Well, it's so much fun getting to know all of you guys, and I'm so excited of the evolving La Mesa Equine with Equine Sports Medicine Rehabilitation Center, and then, of course, the Equine Sports Medicine Rig, and you guys are just rocking it in the industry. So I had to share this. All right, well, thank you so much for pulling this out. I know it's, I, I'm catching you guys just coming back from Arizona, but thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dirty right now. I, see I don't think it's that bad. It's, uh, it's kind of a mess. But Fantastic. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you guys behind the alley.